Here are the top five reasons why WrestleMania 32 sucked. Number five, Triple H is fighting an uphill battle at Mania again. At both WrestleMania X8 and WrestleMania 25, Triple H made his interest surely knowing he had a job on his hands to top earlier matches on the card. In 2002, he had returned before the Royal Rumble, going on to win that bout to earn a shot against Chris Jerko, the WWF undisputed title come Mania. The match itself proved to be fine, but couldn't live up to Hollywood Hogan vs. The Rock just a few matches before. Number 4, a Roman Reigns loss would still draw criticism. Bizarrely, the other side of the coin toss isn't one that's likely to satisfy wrestling fans either. If Triple H were to leave WrestleMania victorious, there would be some sections of the grappling fraternity crying foul. He's up to his old tricks again, they boldly exclaim, unhappy that Triple H, once again, was booked to topple an emergent star. This despite the fact that those same folks don't want Reigns to win. Number 3, fans wouldn't accept Roman Reigns' babyface win. It's pretty glaring, and staring WWE officials right in the face, but management apparently just don't want to see it. Fans are not receptive to the idea of Roman Reigns leading the way as the top babyface in the promotion, no matter how hard the WWE are pushing for it to happen. At WrestleMania, this could serve to ruin the big finish officials want. Number 2, there's no money in the bank cash in to save the day. Worsening the idea that the WWE don't have an out for the main event, they can't even call an audible and send the Money in the Bank winner out there to bag the belt and send fans home happy. Sheamus has already cashed in that privilege at the Survivor Series, and that particular resource has already been used up. There's a silver lining to this predicament. Number 1, there's no stipulation to help ease the fears. In the previous entry, it was mentioned that WWE may want to add a stipulation to any future Roman Reigns vs Triple H rematches. This reveals a glaring issue with their WrestleMania encounter. It seems like there's only going to be a simple one-on-one -on -one singles affair. In other words, it could be a straight-up pro wrestling match, one without any bells and whistles. And that concludes Watch WWE's Top 5 Reasons Why WrestleMania 32 Sucked. My name has been Games Done Right. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and have yourselves a great day.